Hello, this is Jack Wynn for BSN reporting live from the University Center where they are holding this year's UC Internship and Job Fair. On April 5, 2005, the anti-war organization Students Against War held a protest of over 300 students against military recruiters participating at the campus job fair. This protest successfully took the recruiters off the UC Santa Cruz campus. On October 18, 2005, Students Against War again held a protest in conjunction with military recruiters participating in the job fair. Their tactic this time around was a queer kissing. This again effectively prevented the recruiters from doing their job. And again, on April 11, 2006, the recruiters were again kicked off the campus by a student protest. Due to this history, the job fair, which was originally scheduled to be held on January 31st, was canceled. The rescheduled job fair on April 24th would have been the first recruiting visit by the military within a year. However, with another protest on the horizon, estimated to be within the hundreds, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps decided not to participate in the UC Santa Cruz job fair. The issue of the military recruiters is a really complex issue, and we have competing needs and conflicting priorities, uh, each one inside ourselves, each group inside itself. I'm opposed to war. I am in favor of the military as a peacekeeping force, but not in favor of a strong military to wage war. On the other hand, I'm really in favor of our students getting an education that costs a lot of money, and I wouldn't do anything that would risk us having the federal funding for it. And I also believe that you use peaceable, peaceful, law-abiding ways to change the laws. So you have to become the change that you want to see, and uh, doing it through peaceful demonstrations and nonviolence is the way to do it. While the job fair was taking place, down at the Bay Tree Bookstore, Students Against War held a rally in celebration of the recruiters not showing up. The rally included speakers from the group Iraq Vets Against the War. My experience started when I was in a, lived in a small town in Colorado. It was a boring town. I wanted to go to school. I couldn't afford it. So before 9-11, I decided maybe I should join the Army, go be stationed in Germany, have a good time. Well, me and a lot of my friends are joined for the same reasons, for college money and chance to see the, you know, the world. Uh, that decision led us to Iraq for a year. Where we to students who voiced their opinions on the war and the increasing military research and nuclear weapons production by the University of California. Stop this. Before the bombs start falling on Iran and they try to make Afghan Dijon the new Saddam, please stop this. Don't you know Tehran is a metropolis and the cities of the world is one of the most populous? The rally turned into a march around campus with stops at the Humanities Building, College Town, which is holding the job fair, and Science Hill, which has increased its military research in the past few years. Protests against the, uh, the occupation of Iraq, the look to war with Iran, and the ways that the university is directly involved with that. Um, we're here basically because, partly to celebrate the fact that we, the military leaders did not try today. We were planning a protest, and after they heard we were planning a protest, they went through. And also, mainly and more importantly, to um, let, let people realize that the war is not over. People are still dying in Iraq every day. That you know, and the UC is involved heavily in the war machine. Not only are the military recruiters allowed on campus, they're also building nuclear weapons. To, and the military gives huge grants for uh, research for most of the research on this campus. And in the, by the science, uh, in the science area is uh, funded by the military and uh, for military purposes. And that's where all our science majors are being fed into the military and industrial complex. This is Jack Winton reporting for BSN News. Now back to the studio.